the world you see is wedded wedded the people of this world are wedded and controlled by this world follow this world but those that have matured over time are the ones that realize that they themselves control this world. This world does dictate to them, but they are able to say, right, is that right what you're saying? Because if it isn't, get. I'll give you the reason and you can get. If it's correct, I'll admit it's correct and it should be followed. You don't teach me, Mr. World, what I should think, what I should do, how I should act. No. You don't. You have not the presidency over me. I have it over you. Because I'm a child of God. There is no higher position in this world than being a child of God. And there's no higher position in this world and greater position than being a man of God and once a person matures to become a man of God or a woman of God same thing maturity they can address the world and say to the world you can say that but I'm a man of God once a soul has got to that position and is able therefore to express that before the world. The world will sit up. It'll sit up. One last verse here. As we've just got carried away. And how can we not get carried away with our God? And what he has done for us. And what he continues to do for us. Verily, verily, verse 34. Verily. I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. All the calamities, all the wars, all the false prophets, all the famine... And the pestilence, etc., etc., was for this generation of these disciples. And when there's two in the field, there's two in the field. Okay, when there's two grinding at them, <coughs> grinding flour, it's all pre industrial revolution as much as anything else but everything that we read here is of that world then present everything the setup the words the address to the people then present not future though the thing in spirit continues as we say, repeats itself. There's nothing new under heaven. 